Can you explain why it went the way it went? Uh, I don't think they really had a way to deal with our comp, to be honest. If we had played objectives and defense and soak, we would have probably lost. But if we played proper and, and give up lane soak and do three, four or five man pushes, they actually couldn't do a thing. Oh. Okay. Diablo was AI. All my arguments were invalid. Imagine if Diablo wasn't AI and he just burned Dia. AI Diablo is pretty useless, yeah. GWP didn't the team comp wouldn't work. Didn't think that team comp would work? Well, thank you very much. Works with women for your 1185 bits. Really appreciate it. Oh, yeah, the Diablo's on our team. Araki, you are AI. This realm needs me. I stand ready. Unlucky. So with Liming and Vala, I think I should ban Tassadar or Ariel. Can we get a tank? Um, good Malph. Malph is insane here. Victory for the Forsaken. Hmm. Draft-wise, it would have been very strong to get Malf or Oreo here and then I ban the other one. Just because of what we have so far. Oreo combines with Gul'dan insanely well and Malf is just one of the best heroes in general plus one of the best heroes on this map. Oreo Vala is very strong together as well as uh, Tassadar Vala. Aha! They ban Oreo. Now I get to ban Malf. Oh. I know. It's it's the only choice. Since these two were like the targets of pick ban, um, and we can only ban one, by them banning one, you must ban the other one. If you believe what I'm saying, which is that these these two supports are the best next best in line. If they had not banned Ariel, we should not have banned one of them either, because otherwise they get one of them and we don't and then we get something subpar can we get a support and not arthas ready for action the haka is okay he can be our solo laner we would lack a little bit of cc though Let's save some lives. Huh. Um, do we have setup for stitches? Hmm. Chen seems okay, actually. Two bruisers. I bring you pandemonium. I'm having a bit of a monologue here, but I hope they don't mind my talking a lot. I don't get it personally, but I've experienced before where people say like, can you stop talking already? And it's like, I don't really get it. Mm. It's like, it's a team game. My We're supposed to talk to understand each other. I hope they don't feel that way. 
I also don't really get the underlying thought behind it. Luckily, they've cooperated with the draft. I do think it's been a better draft because of it. Not having support is uh, not that good. Stitches wouldn't have really worked well with what we have. Chen, a bit more damage, a bit more disruption on uh, on their backline. So Chen is going to be on top of Li Meng. And then I will be hitting Sonia most likely. Because I need to be there as an anchoring point. Something to hit so that Sonia doesn't hit our backline. And Gul'dan, he doesn't have extra mobility. Sonia does. Which means if we let Sonia have her way with Gul'dan, eventually Gul'dan will die. So I need to be there to dissuade Sonia from doing that. Chen doesn't necessarily get to stay alive in the back line. As himself, he can definitely die. Grounding Brew can help, so can Elusive Brawler. Grounding Brew is the anti-Sonia and Li Ming ability at level 1. Whereas uh, Elusive Brawler, the one he took, is better against Vala and better in laning. Uh, but when he turns on Storm, Earth and Fire, he can really take out Li Ming by himself and block a lot of her shots. We will try. Uh, I'm gonna go for a reactive parry. Five, four, three, two, Have you tried writing in longer sentences? Uh, I mean, sometimes there's new data, Black Cat Blues. I'm, I'm basically typing as if it is um, as if it is uh, voice chat. Maybe because I wasn't there. No, one should have stayed. Well, we only lose two footmen, luckily. Uh, I like seasoned marksmen. I just think Artanis right now is not survivable enough without uh, the block. Short rotation. We can do a four-man attack on towers again. If Gul'dan was dual soaking, we would now be half a level ahead, but we're still in a really good situation. We fight against the darkness. No, every time I leave, Morales dies. Uh, he got the gems. Uh, 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 ooh. E 
<sighs> he missed his Q on Chen, so lucky. We must stand as one. We're all bots again. I'm glad that one missed. This is Sylvanas Morales power. All of them. <sighs> but God, they dropped so low. Can we like go back already, bro? Chen? Chen? <laughs> he didn't want to go back. <laughs> Uh, I didn't mean to press Q. No. I just took a look at the minimap and I see the top four is gone too. This Chen though, come on man. Chen life, what did he take? Elusive Brawler, Brew Balance, Ring of Fire. Mega law. Now they are close to paying so let's, let's calm down here for a bit. Let's calm down. And uh, not lose suddenly. I got the last hit. Did we win the last game? Yeah, we won, but the opponent had an AI. I go Graviton Vortex. I 
haven't had stim on me in a long time as Artanis. I suspected, and I'm glad that my hypothesis was true, that I did not need to move to stay alive. Two Morales wins in a row. Does he have leap? No, Rath. No! Oh my god, he survived that one too! We couldn't get out. We cannot get out. We cannot get out. See that, hero? that was not a mine. It's a two. Why did the spiders chase you? It's what they do. They're bad guys. Six twenty-two. Does that tell you enough, Bakery? I think you. The stars aligned to bring us this game. <laughs> Dark bargain, hunger for power. Uh, I'm gonna go for Titan Killer. He is off. <laughs> we make a great team. You favor me, friend. Huh? What did he die to? Oh. This burden is mine. I will never stop fighting. is off. This burden is mine. Oh. Humiliation. <laughs> Titours. I don't know if this game was close enough for the YouTubes. What do you guys think? With your lives. It was a fun game. MVP. Chen's survivability was legendary. Absolutely legendary. And Morales' sustain and push with Sylvanas was pretty insane as well. So the Sia's off meme. I don't know if it's a meme yet. But there was one moment uh, on Horsepants' stream where he queued out of the bottom fort on Blackheart's Bay over the water and eat on a, I want to say, no, I don't remember what it was. 
which hero it was. But the person's name was Zaf, and he said, see a Zaf, and impassive face. The person died and he lived. It was beautiful. This was, uh, this was fun. I am an Avenger. Main healer, MVP, and Siege Master with Escape Artist. That was fun. Build was Reactive Power, Sonic Synergy, Warp Sickness, Graviton Vortex, and Titan Killer. Really fun to play right now, Artenis. Oh, it was a Lunara. Yes, yes. The Chen, I mean, considering that I didn't know that he was a, you know, legit Chen player, it was a good pick, but the way it panned out was just amazing as well. It took a bit of time till we got our rotation to where we wanted it to be. Uh, I'll never know what would have happened if I went with the four-man rotation every time. We did the classical one bot, four rotation. But every time I looked at bottom lane, I see a killable Sonia. Because Sonia right now just isn't that good. And Chen continually brought her to 60 to 20% of her life. So I know I go there, we kill her. And then when I do that, I leave my three-man exposed. But maybe if they play it safe, we'll get a kill for nothing. But I will never know what, ha what would happen if we do the four versus four. But what I do know is that what we eventually did for bot with Gul'dan dual soaking was actually the way to go. Morales and Sylvanas have such good sustained push. Same with like Zarya Hammer. You just need to use that rather than just playing a standard game. You need to like give up traditional lane format and just do it like that. Oh, it works. Wait, what did you just... <laughs> I will okay. <clears throat> so, Leyline Seal counter sank. That's good to know. 